He, you were going to tell me about this 1855 treaty. Yeah, the 1855 treaty was uh, was uh, signed February 22nd, 1855. There were actually 10 treaty meeting sessions in Washington, D.C., and they took the chiefs from the various reservations and areas of Minnesota by stagecoach and then by train, and they put them up in hotels and fed them in the restaurants in Washington. But what we were able to get our hands on here at White Earth, one of our community members in his basement, in the rafters of the basement, found a 1923 um, federal lawsuit against the state of Minnesota over and the federal government by the Department of Justice on behalf of the various native uh, communities on, uh, on the issue of putting in the dams at Leech Lake, the loss of 45,000 acres of mm -hmm. rice beds and uh, the uh, ditches they were digging around Rice Lake here in White Earth. And then the whole issue on all the Anishinaabe reservations about the taking of swamp lands because the Swamp Land Act was passed in 1860 and the uh, government just went in and took them arbitrarily from the native communities and there was no compensation. Hmm. So this was an effort, this lawsuit that we have our hands on. Actually, it's the minutes of the lawsuit, the court case. But in there, what was interesting is the minutes of the negotiation of the 1855 treaty, the 10 sessions that were made. It actually puts in uh, what each chief had to say, what each treaty commissioner had to say, and then what's nice is we have a summary of that treaty, we have the actual narrative of the treaty here, and then we have this map of, of the treaty which shows the uh, 10 million acres that were ceded, and the, uh, in the uh, narrative part, the negotiations, Hole in the day that one of the chiefs from around Sandy Lake at mm. that time was offered uh, one cent an acre for that 10 million acres, and his statement to the treaty commissioners was, don't toy with me, I'm not a child. You know it's worth more, and so do I. And so it, the land and timber, then the chiefs were able to get the price up to 10 cents an acre, so the 10 million acres in the 1855 treaty went for 10 cents an acre. But what it also did, it established 10 reservations, Gull Lake, Rabbit Lake, Pokegamon, White Oak Point, and several at Leech Lake, Mille Lacs. Uh, basically, 160 townships of reservation in, uh, in those uh, Mississippi communities, uh, Chippewa people. Mm. And a township, to give you some perspective, is 23,040 acres times 160. So we're p talking about 3.2 million acres of land. So, you know, it's quite a bit of uh, land that mm. they were uh, negotiating here. And um, one of the other things that they, the treaty commissioners kept harping on is they were trying to persuade the chiefs and say, you need to give up the chase in the chase meaning the seasonal round, hunting and fishing and gathering. Mm. And the chiefs then said, well, how are we to take care of ourselves and our communities? And the government said, don't worry about that. We will clothe you, we will feed you, we will educate you, we'll provide a physician. And, and, and further, we'll, we'll bring in doctors, teachers, ministers, priests, uh, uh, missionaries to help civilize your people and then Holnade, who was a very feisty person, very mm -hmm. assertive, he said, you keep sending us these people to help us and civilize us, yet 